here we go. Uh, make of uh, the crimson uh, ca caravans, okay? Crimson caravans. It's an all marketplace. Okay, but uh, which be cool. I could buy something. It's gonna be a long, long trip here. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Let me buy it. Oh. Bruh, I like. I can easily take these three guys on. These guards, I can easily take them on. Right now. You know, no, Clive, Clive is, 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 a, is a top dog here, for real. I, uh, I'm not sure, but it'd be like I can clearly take them on. But uh, we have to make way for the crimson caravans. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Clive is like god -like, is good, like god like now. Always, always uh, running fades. Always wanting to smoke. Oh yeah, I, I was... Out of my sight, wretch. Okay, wretch. What are you looking for? A uh, enhancer. I already have this. Oh, oh I'm already, okay, I'm already stacked. Farewell. Okay, uh, are we nearby? What's this? What? Is for hire. The caravan may bleed you dry. Always may drink you dry. We'll get your your good home and dry for cheap. I'd probably just steal. They're gonna steal all my steal all your shit. Okay, let's see. What's this? I'm actually here. I'm 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 here. What's that? The third is not. Oh, it's that. I'm actually here. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I have some. I'm sorry. 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 I'm it's 10 million for a two-birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Wait! Don't go, El! He's been made! As I live and breathe. Goots, what are you doing back in Boklad? I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me trader's pass. It, it got stolen. By a little burn. Of all the... You're the size of a morble. Honestly. Ugh. Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little band could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then we can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders, but I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass, but I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. 
So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market? Yes, and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners, and yet none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants. Which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back? And we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all, and two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion goods? They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh... I don't know, try swimming across the strait. But, but the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um, yeah. But I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. They accept the Crimson Collar from Eleni. Elise. The proprietor of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. Understood. Alright, to catch a thief. Okay. A fill at least request. Speak with the with the furniture maker. Out of my sight, wretch. Okay, now we're cooking here. Come on, come on! Jug of snake spit for the road. The caravan stops next to the check. Like this guy? Are you the furniture maker? Looking for something in particular? Ah, and are we collared you too, eh? Then I expect you want to know more. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? For one, that they're targeting the traders carrying the biggest packs. Harder to watch your back, see? And less chance of the mark giving chase if they're spotted. Not that they'd be likely to catch them. Those imps know every inch of this warren like the backs of their hands. Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. The fishmonger ran by the gate's been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. Thank you. We will. Right, speak with the fishmonger. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. You should come with me to the Dominion. Like Fish for sale! Fresh sorted and smoked! Can I interest you? Ah, sorry. Message from Eloise, is it? She's asked me to help her. To help you find the pickpockets. Is that so? Suppose I better tell you what I know then. For one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children who stole their passes were dirty, dressed in rags. Street urchins, by the sound of it. We get a lot around here. Orphans from the wars. A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway? They're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. Some of them take it as an opportunity to rid themselves of unwanted baggage. The shame of it. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard something. It's worth a try. All right then. All right. Questioning children. Speak with the children. 
should come with me to the Dominion. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Am I, am I the right way? Oh, there we go. Do you have a moment? What do you want? What I want is to know who's asking children like you to pick pockets. I don't know. Nobody's asked me. What's picking pockets? Do you get paid for it? No, uh, you get in trouble for it. So if they come calling, you know what to tell them. I, I thought he was playing dumb there. That caught him in by playing dumb. I don't think he actually knows or does it. Um. As I'm um, in a relationship. <laughs> oh, here we go. Snake spit. Uh, excuse me. What do you want? I, I, I don't have any money. It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. What, what, what about? We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. I don't know much about it, really. But my friend, Honza, he... He said he got a job doing something dangerous. Sounds promising. We need to find him and ask. Do you know where your friend might be? He's usually by the tent outside town. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Okay. Find Hanza. Come on, come on. All right, now we're getting somewhere. It's just peaches and pears. Peaches. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. I've been talking. Yeah, I'm looking for a fight. I've been just talking here, running around with people. He's smashing. That's that then. She must have been the refugee camp. Let's hope he's still nearby. No crystals here. We have to keep going. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> that big fat donkey was easy pickings. Oh yes. He wouldn't have noticed if we rubbed his boots off him. <laughs> yeah. Wish we hadn't handed over the pass though. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. Would they now? Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to these charming characters. Shit, we're in trouble now. What do we do? You two get caught if you want. I'm off. Hansa, where are you going? So that was Hansa, eh? Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. All right. Okay. I'm probably gonna have to try the kid. Probably he can lead us somewhere. Where are the bad guys? Fight for him. I need to find him before his employers do. Daddy, I'm not hungry. Did you see a boy run past? He stole something from a friend of mine. There was a boy ran back there towards the chocobo pen, but. Thank you. It's all right, Hunter. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to ask you some questions. <sighs> Fine. Not like I've got a choice. I'm looking for the people who are making you steal for them. Who are they? Hello, kid. They call themselves the Car Stones. They said they'd give me a good gill if I did what they told me. I knew they were bad, but it doesn't come for free. Didn't come at all half the time before I started buzzing for them. You know, if I didn't do it, they'd just pick on someone else. Someone they could push around easier. Hansa. 
You found him then? Jill? Where are the other two? Eloise is watching over them. She sent Goots and I to look for you. <laughs> You're... him! I haven't got your pass anymore, if that's what you're after. I gave it to the Carstones. Whatever you do to me, I can't get it back. Not that I go against them, anyway. If it weren't for their gill, me and my mates would have starved. Okay, who's this? Cowards! You will not force another child to do your bidding. Wait, we're not... <laughs> Don't hurt him. You're making a mistake. We're on the same side. Like hell we are. Let me hurt you. That brooch. Where did you get it? <laughs> M Master Theo. <laughs> Goots. What are you doing with these people? Unless you're the ones my sister was talking about. Your sister? We got another flashback story. Oh, we're still here. Eloise didn't tell us she had a brother. And why would she? I'm just her back and a blade. Theodore, at your service. Sorry about before. Theodore, what do you know of the cast stones? Vultures who have made Boklad their hunting ground. They prey on the desperate, stealing from those with Gil and bullying those without it into joining their flock. I've been looking into their activities in hope of sparing the refugees any further hardship. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. Hans is a good lad. Don't blame him for what they've made him do. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stones, some other poor souls would have. On pain of death, most likely. Clive, was it? And my sisters asked you to help put an end to the pickpocketing. Then we all want the same thing. Okay. Yeah, I don't get into a fight there. I was ready. Ready for anything. Oh, where is it? So, what's the plan? What else? We find the cast stones and we crush them. You get your traders passed back and I make Boklad a safe place again. All right then. All right, then. Honza, where are they camped? Don't worry. They'll never know you told us. Couldn't if I wanted to. They always come to town to collect the passes. Meet us outside the gate. I tried following them once, but they spotted me halfway down the trail. Said they'd string me up. We'll try it this time. Which way were they going? Back down the road towards Leighton's Cleft. To Lady's Cleft, then. Lady's Cleft is to the south, past the camp. All right. Uh, let's for the cast stones lair. Actually, we're gonna a friend here. Hey, game looks. Oh, but, you know, I got this game in July, and it's right now. It's October. I, you know, I've been taking my time with this. Game's amazing. Especially when it looks like look like when I'm recording it, like the uh, recording screen on my other computer. Like, well, it looks amazing. All right, time to die, you fuckers! I'll hit them with the Feral Flames for rebirth. I think that should do it. Flames of rebirth. What the fuck? Got got like dirty towels on the heads. Rusty swords. The one who's been sticking his nose in our business. Bye. Ah, oh, seems I started a bit longer. 
I doubt these were the ringleaders, but at least we know we're on the right track. Now what's this? Uh, three short bangs. I think it's the final crew. <laughs> Not a bad haul today, eh? Aye. Some of our new recruits are natural born ne'er do wells. Especially the little ones. That Hans has got nimble fingers, all right. <laughs> It'll be a shame when they chop them off. But till then, let's make the most of it. Okay. Scum. The leaders of the cast stones, I take it. They don't deserve any mercy, Clive. I wasn't planning on showing them any. We're ready when you are, Theodore. Oh, I'm ready. Uh, let's fucking go. Fuck! It's that guy from Portland! Kill him! Kill them all! And they say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains, rings, purses. Ah, and traders' passes. Dozens of them. Have the names been changed? Not yet. I recognize some of them. No doubt Gootz's is somewhere among them. Now I just need to sort through it all and return everything to the people it was taken from. We should go and give Eloise the good news. Can we leave things here in your hands, Theodore? Of course. Oh, and, uh, be sure to tell her of the part I played, won't you? We'll be glad to. Uh, all right. Be good on All right, mission accomplished. Yeah, good job. Let me get, let me get that toggle. Ah! 
after it. Let's see if we got upgrade some abilities. A fourteen hundred. All right. Master. I guess I use this often. Let me master this one. Thunderstorm. I have four hundred left. The uh. Oh no. Yeah, anything? I don't know. Oh, apparently, uh, apparently not. No. Okay. Nice. It's my Titan ability, you know. It, yeah, it can be a little, uh, wait a little bit for a charger, but I think it'd be worth it. That's so that's when I, I launched I. I launch it at the red bar and see. It's full. Do that again. We get a different uh, attack with the with a uh, uh, wind up. I'm pretty sure like when it hits the red bar, it's a, it gets more damage. But, uh, to my my not that that's the way I've been I've been doing it. Let's see, wind up by all the way up. Okay, so yeah, I wind up when it when I let go of the red in the red zone, it it, it's, it acts like a a, a, glue, a drill. So, but if I hold it, fire up all the way, it's, like, it's one big punch. Either way, as long as it makes me more no like, a motherfucking here. god. That's that then. How goes the hunt? My brother isn't getting in your way, I trust? Quite the opposite. So it was the cast stones who were behind it all. Theo told me he'd been on their trail. And their demise solves three problems at a stroke. That of the pickpockets, the bandits pulling their strings, and the passes they were stealing. I only hope yours is among the items you recovered. Only time and Theo's return will tell. Speaking of whom, welcome home, dear brother. You are too kind, Eloise. Here, Clive. Goods is passed. Ask him to keep a closer eye on it from now on, would you? I will. Thank you. El, I've asked our boys to carry the rest of the goods back. Can I count on your help in sorting through it all? Of course. I'll make some space in the storeroom. I expect you'll soon be on your way then. But it wouldn't do to leave without introducing yourself properly. Would it now? Sid. Don't look so shocked. We're on the same side. I don't understand. As you now know all too well, we at the Crimson Caravans are always happy to help those in need. For a small fee, we will move anything that needs moving. Be that goods to market, or bearers away from it. I was the first my sister helped escape. If it wasn't for her, I'd have been branded as a boy. I had no idea. It just so happens that we are seeking to expand our operation. And who better to join forces with than the leader in the field? Wouldn't you agree, Theo? I would. It seems our purpose is the same in more ways than one. So what would you say to working together again? It would be our pleasure. And our honor. The honor is ours. Here, Clive. This is for you. Oh, the Crimson Compass. What is it? El has friends in high places while I have associates in uh, 
lower ones. That mark is proof that you're a friend to us both. Awesome. I shall bear it with pride. Well, all that remains is to wish you a safe onward journey. Goots's pass should secure you a place on the caravan. But if you encounter any difficulties, we would be delighted to provide you with a coach of our own. For a discounted price, of course. Say... Nine million? We'll... Try the caravan. Still trying to get me. Alright, leveled up. Where's that? Okay, we're good. Right then. Let's get this back to Goots. And then it's on to the Dominion. Out of my Ooh. Mm. Side Just side Let quest. me yeah. carry your goods. I'm cheap. Pardon me. But would you happen? That well-notched steel and impressive physique. I have need of a sword for hire, and yours looks to be a weapon well worth the coin. Might you be convinced to offer me the use of those formidable arms? How exactly do you intend to use them? Well, being something of a scholar of Zemeckian history, I wish to investigate the ruins near the city. And I require a rugged companion. Lest I find myself waylaid by ne'er-do-wells or the beasts said to roam the area. Should you accept, you will not only earn yourself material wealth, but partake of the true treasure that awaits us there. The rich and storied history of Zemeckis. Well, were you ever party to a finer proposition? My arms are yours. Wonderful! <laughs> Yeah, but it's just accepting every side quest now it is. I want to get what it's all about. Where are we going? Along the old Zemeckis road. And from there, onward to discovery. Quickly! There is not a moment to lose! Wait. <sighs> Good luck with your ne'er do wells. I better make sure he doesn't get himself killed. Why am I not surprised? Oh my god. Sorry, coming. You'll hand over your coin. Thanks to your timely intervention. More importantly, we have arrived. Now, feast your eyes upon the marvel before us. Ruins, a relic of the fallen civilization. A sight so common that man is oft blinded to its wonder. Colossal vessels, dashed from the very heavens. Airships, we call them, with very little thought to what wonders such a word might describe. Oblige me if you would. Does anything strike you as peculiar about this particular specimen? Though we ourselves find fallen ruins to be nigh indestructible, whatever gouged the final sin from the rock cleaved clean through the structure you see before you. A tantalizing mystery, no doubt. But merely one of countless enigmas in which Zemeckian history is steeped. Come, good sir. Our expedition continues, and we still have much to learn. Where's he taking me? 
feel like I'm gonna do a lot of fighting and do all me doing all the work here. He's passionate. I'll give him that. No, no. All right then. He's first. to get yourself killed oh that would not do that would not do at all not when such majesty stretches out before us behold the final sin in all its glory as moss tells us a battle was fought here in ancient times a battle of such ferocity that it tore a great crater in the very land upon which it was waged in reaching for their holy sanctum did man enrage the gods, and great was the vengeance that was rained down upon him. Alas, the full truth of the matter is lost to time, though I live in hope that I might see it discovered. But we must not dwell upon such things. There is more yet to see. Onward, history awaits. He dad's gonna get himself killed. For real. Yeah. Oh my god, why am I surprised? Got himself into a little pickle. Smack this Still guy. in one piece. It would seem so. Once more, I am in your debt. And once more, you impress me with your prowess. These were no ordinary foes, but ones we in the field call Echoes. Though Moss the Chronicler concurs with the legends in attributing the fall of Zemeckis to a wrath wrought upon mankind by the gods, he offers little in the way of explanation. Could the ruins we see before us here, in all their elaborate beauty, perhaps okay. suggest an answer? 
Could the construction of such miraculous edifices have been considered an encroachment upon the province of the divine? Alas, all is mere speculation. But one day, perhaps, I will learn the truth. Not if you keep running headfirst into trouble. True. You are right, of course. And not only have you plucked me repeatedly from the jaws of death, you have proven yourself a willing audience to my ramblings. Glad to help, but didn't you say you came here to investigate something? I fear I may have rather overstated the case on that front. In truth, a captive ear was all I really desired. You see, even my fellow scholars have grown somewhat weary of my musings of late. And so I came upon the idea of purchasing a companion. A captive audience, if you will. That's what this was all about. I am afraid so. It's a waste of my time. And now, my good man. It is high time we returned whence we came. Fine. Just don't go running off this time. God damn. Am I time for all this shit? And so ends a delightful day. Here, your reward for humoring my selfish whims, plus a little extra for the trouble I have put you to. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. Uh, side quest? Yeah, let's get I'm over nasty. here. We got really here. We'll get a uh, feel for it. For the people want. <sighs> now I just need, need to see you about getting the work. <sighs> I want to know right away. Bad news. Good, actually. Something worth celebrating for a change. Only trouble is, the serving girl's still new to the job, so I can't leave her while I go and invite those I'd like to celebrate with. What exactly are you celebrating, if you don't mind me asking? I've come by a particularly fine bottle of red. A Gotan 66, no less. Gotan Rouge is the only good thing to have ever come out of the Empire. And most wouldn't part with a 66 if you held a knife to their throats. So I've heard. Oh, so you know of it then? Clearly, you're a gentleman of taste. A gentleman who might sympathize with my predicament, perhaps? Would you pass the good news to a few friends of mine? I'll give you a little something for your time, of course. Sounds simple enough. So you'll do it. Marvelous. Thank you. You won't need to go far. All three of them should be right here in the market. There's Aldrich, the porter, Milan, the butcher, and Bollock, a guard over at the North Gate. Three of the finest fellows in Boklad, if you ask me. Tell them to come to the tavern when they finish for the day. Stop by again when you let them know, and I'll give you your little something. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, speak with Aldrich the Porter. All right, so folks. Uh, right here. Hurry, man. I've been asked to find Aldrich, the porter. I don't suppose that's you, is it? That's me right enough. You need something delivered. The innkeeper sent me. He said there's a cup of Gotan 66 with your name on it when you're done for the day. <laughs> a 66? Look at me. If he's just got hold of it now, it must have been in the crates he had me carry down from San Breck. From the Empire to Boklad. You must be a braver man than most. That's a treacherous route to the best of times. Uh, such is the porter's lot. There's not a patch of storm these feet haven't traipsed across. They'd sorrow flam one day, then off to Canva the next. The farther you're willing to go, the fatter the purse. Which is why there's no shortage of competition for some of the longer routes. I'd say I've done enough for today to earn myself a cup of something tasty. 
Thanks for letting me know. Okay. I'm just talking with folks, okay? Out of my sight, wretch! Uh, I'll get annoying, bro. Come on, come on! Jug of snake spit for the road. Caravan stops next to the checkpoint. There you go. Are you Milan, the butcher? That's me. What can I do for you? The innkeeper's just had a special delivery. He thought you might like to join him for a cup of wine after you pack up for the day. <laughs> he knows me only too well. And I've got a ham here that will go handsomely with a nice drop. Wine and ham to spare. Barclad clearly isn't suffering, then. Comes with being the place everyone has to pass through to get to everywhere else. Those who travel the Crystal Road bring all manner of goods with them. We get meat from San Breck, herbs from Rosaria. Why, sometimes we even see curiosities from across the Narrow. My old man knew what he was about when he set up shop here all those years ago. Anyway, thanks for the good news. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll shut up shop early. Wouldn't want to keep our friend waiting. I'd last. Right. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. The Empire's your enemy, not oh, us. Okay. I'm looking for Bolek. I was told he'd be guarding the gate. Well, you found him. You're not here to enlist, I take it. The innkeeper sent me. He's just taken delivery of a rare vintage, a Gotan 66. He thought you might like a cup. I've never said no to a goat hand. I'm not about to start now. Thanks for letting me know. You must be a busy man. The market would be flooded with refugees if we weren't here to stem the flow. Oh, my heart goes out to them, all right, but we've got our orders. No papers, no passage. Plenty try to slip past us nonetheless. And every now and then, one of them's foolish enough to try and force their way through. And when they do, well... Things can get nasty. You know what? That wine's sounding better by the moment. Well done. I wonder if the innkeeper might spare a cup of that wine. Ooh. I have some thoughts. Oh, drinky, drinky. Sorry. Get my drunk on. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. The caravan stops next to the checkpoint. I won. Come on, <laughs> Sprint. Come ah, come on. I can put a split. Press every button on my, my controller. No, like a fast sprint will be good. Get things uh, rolling faster. <sighs> if our new arrivals and... I spoke to your friends. They'll be along soon. That's fantastic news. Thank you kindly. It's been a while since we all sat down together. And the way I see it, that wine is as much theirs as it is my own. How so? Well, I wouldn't be serving anything but slops without Aldrich to go and fetch the good stuff for me. And then there's Milan, who always sends customers my way. And Bolek, an even-handed keeper of the peace, if ever there was one. Those three are the backbone of Boklad. Lose any one of them, and the market would soon fall apart. And without the market, I wouldn't have a single customer. I'd say that's worth a bottle of 66, wouldn't you? <laughs> and more besides. Everyone needs a shoulder to lean on. Be they world-weary innkeepers or brooding swordsmen. Right. I'd better prepare for my guest's arrival. I hear you had me carrying a bottle of Gotan 66. If I'd have known, I would have sold the thing and lived like a lord. I'll settle for a cup, though, if you're in a sharing mood. A Gotan 60 bloody six. Just as well I had something special of my own set aside. A bottle between the four of us might not be enough to drown our sorrows, but it can't hurt. Here they are, the three pillars of Boklad. <laughs> Sit yourselves down, gentlemen. The woes of the world may be monstrous in many, but there's nothing like a few good friends to keep the misery at bay. Never a true word spoken.
Oh, we ain't good here. I'm Peto. I like I like doing this. Uh, oh, we yeah, have one more. Did I? Are you? Oh, oh, square. Ah, I press next. <laughs> I see you've been of some assistance to Eloise. Perhaps you can extend me the same kindness? Perhaps. What would I be doing? Finding someone. You see, I've been having trouble with thieves, and despite the many pains I've taken, I can't stop them from rummaging through my packs. I was griping about my lot to a friend of mine a few days back, and he offered to track the culprits down. Now, Joseph's a sellsword, and a good one at that. But he's been gone days, and I'm beginning to fear the worst. Ooh, okay, I'm 800. Any idea where his search for the thieves might have taken him? The old Zemeckis Road, perhaps? He doubted they would be fool enough to linger here in Boklad. Joseph's lived a hard life, made him grey long before his time. I just pray he hasn't been killed over a few sacks of grain. I can't imagine there are too many grey-haired cell swords around. Hopefully someone will have seen him. Okay, uh, ask around the markets about the missing so uh, uh, swords. Of course. Okay. Right, let me take the marker off. Uh... I don't know why. Why go? Oh, oh, here we go. That's that then. Daddy! There are no crystals here. We have to keep going. What do you want? I've no coin on me. Just information. Has a sellsword passed through here? Grey hair. Now you mention it, there was a young man with salt in his mane sneaking around out there a while back. Which way did he go? I... How am I supposed to know? I got off down the road, I expect. Now why don't you do the same and leave me be? Speed on toggle. I'll run this. Dismount. We don't want any trouble. Neither do I. I'm looking for someone. A grey haired mercenary. Well, we haven't seen him. Yes, we have. We saw him climbing up the rocks. Those ones, over there. Maybe he found his thieves. Mum won't let me near them. She said there's goblins up there, and that they eat little boys for dinner. Shush, now. You've said quite enough already. I only told him what you said. I'd listen to your mother if I were you. Oh, okay. Just see if we can get the snowman somewhere here. Oh, he's over. Ew. Like, I'm holding back a loogie. I think we found our thieves. 
Okay. They don't look happy to see me. Ah! It's Same as always, easy peasy. Let's get this over with. Stop! Don't kill him, he's just protecting his home. Joseph? So the boy was right? I don't know you. Your porter friend sent me to find you. She was worried you might have got yourself killed. Have I been gone that long? It wasn't hard finding the thieves. The problem was knowing what to do with them when I did. I take it things are more complicated than they appear. I'd all but ruled out bandits before I even left the market. You know what that is? Because our thieves had no interest in gold or gems or anything they couldn't eat for that matter. Add to that the rumors of goblins in the area, and the mystery practically solved itself. I soon found their cozy little homestead, and all the missing food. I launched myself at them, full of righteous fury, but their leader was the only one who moved to meet me. The others, they huddled around that food, ready to die protecting it. They stole because it was that or starvation. I've been there myself, back when times were hard. So you spared them, and earned their trust into the bargain by the look of it. These goblins aren't native to the area. They don't know how to survive such barren lands, so... I've been teaching them. And once they've learned to hunt and forage, they won't be fool enough to risk their necks in Boklad. I'm impressed. I didn't know goblins could be reasoned with. Do me a favor. Let the porter know I'm safe. I'll head back to the market once my work here is done. Oh, and don't mention the goblins. I don't want people coming here brandishing pitchforks. Not now this lot of sworn off thieving. Your secret's safe with me. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> 